Alright, so reassembling. Get the motherboard in this way. Doesn't really matter which way the airport cables go, but the Dell card is actually labelled white and black. So we'll just go with what they have on here. White and black. These can be a bit fiddly, especially if they get damaged, but they can be easily fixed with the flat blade screwdriver if the metal becomes bent. Anyway. It's bent, it's just fiddly. Now another thing to be careful of is the cable routing to make sure that none of the screws from the bottom case come through and, well, pinch the cables or pierce them. If that happens, it's not a very not very good. Uh, you'll probably lose most of your airport reception. You just get the board back in. You've got to find all the cables that are buried under the board, of course, unless you tuck them away, which I didn't. The fan is under there. Oh, it can help to have the flat blade screwdriver to fish cables out. There we go. And now we just need to get it back up to a 45 degree angle or a little bit more than there. There we go. And it should just pop in. Just wedge it down. That goes in. Make sure the cables are all out. Modem slots, audio. And then these clips just push down. And they lock in. Then we just need to reattach these uh, speaker cable, that's what that is. It's labelled. Should have read it. And camera. Whoop. Fiddly little connector. And the fan. Without the fan connected, of course, your EPC will turn to toast and will be useless. Connect the LVDS cable. Alright and then we can get back to putting the top case on. Now, the top case, make sure that your thermal pads are somewhere. Um, as you can see, I've got two missing there, one on there. I've got two on the top case and one missing. As long as they're all there, you should be okay. Um, so you just pop that back on, move the display back a little bit so you can get the sides on okay. Right, then just clip it all back in. Clips at the front. And then we just need to put the screws back in.